Greetings, Zero here, and welcome back to the Liquid Crystal Fairy Pseudomonotype. Last time I defeated the final Jim and Johto, kicked Team Saturn out of the Dragon's Den, and caught Latias. We're near the end of the first act of this, uh, of this hack. Well, but before we go to the Pokemon League, there's actually something I want to show you guys in Dark Cave. Pop Flash real quick. Up here. Another Thief TM. So now there's a big old waterfall here. And now you have your eighth badge. You can go up it. The big ass waterfall. And now we go up this ladder and this ladder. And we come up into a room with some boulders in it. This is the strength puzzle. So, I need to remember how to solve this. Hmm. No, it's, it's this way. There should be an item over here, somewhere. Get this out of the way. Okay, it's gonna be over there. Big mushroom. A lot of these mushrooms in here, you can sell them. Another mushroom. Mushroom. Oh, by the way, while I, you obviously won't see it because I have repels active, you can find wild larvitar in here. Okay, so there's that mushroom. Okay. Push these all out of the way. And what do we find? Why, it's Jirachi! Yep, you can get Jirachi before we even fight the Hall of Fame. I think that's all the hidden items. Anyways, I'm going to save real quick, and then we'll try and capture Jirachi. Rise and shine! What's interesting is that the overworld sprite shows its shiny coloration. Alright, well, let's try and paralyze it. Oh, right, you can use rest. Nope! Let's try that again.
God damn it, Lancelot! Day three. All right, you're just gonna knock yourself out of that, right? This is going to get annoying. Okay. Be that way. Get in the ball, damn it. Get in the fucking ball. Don't you dare knock yourself out! You really annoy me. Okay, you're getting too many special defense drops. We want to take a chance here. There we go. Third time's the charm. And, uh... Fuck it, we'll just call, we'll just call you a wish. And then careful what you wish for. So with that done, now we can leave. Fall down the hole, and this will take us into the other segment of Dark Cave. And we exit over here. So now we just have to go down south towards New Bark Town. Back here at the lab, we talk to Professor Elm. And we get the Master Ball. Anyways, now we've done that. Let's go. Finally, enter Kanto properly. This is the second time we've been here, of course. Again, well, you can't go this way, because there's a ledge over there. So... Super Repel. Then down. And over. Poop. Nope. And now you can go in here, and this lady, if your Pokemon likes you, will give you the gift for Sandstorm. <clears throat> now, Sandstorm was absolutely busted when it was introduced in Gen 2, because I think it did one eighth of your health per turn. Yeah, it took him a bit to figure out how to bounce weather, because that was first added in that generation. Nope. Yeah, me. Yeah, I used up most of those fresh water balls training in that segment of Mount Silver you can access from the Team Saturn hideout. Mm-hmm. And I wouldn't say you're any good. Nope. And that was another trainer down here, actually. 
but, well, we can't get to that because you need to use fucking Whirlpool. Let me see. Is there any move of yours I can temporarily... Yeah, I can get rid of Ice Punch temporarily. Because I got other... I, can, I got another copy of that somewhere. Yep. We'll just use... the TM for Whirlpool. Real quick. And we get the Emperor Solar Beam over here. Don't know if I'll ever use it. Oh, uh, also a Striker 3 picks up got. What did he get? This is sweet! Oh, right, there's another item over there. Uh, I'll be right back. Yeah, I completely missed that one earlier. So, going back over, you switch them over here, and you get a rare candy. Okay, so now we're back where we were. Whoops, my bad. Didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I'm mostly using Mawile because, of course, it is the newest member of the team, so it needs to gain effort values more than the others. I'm not EV training, but still, every bit helps. Is there an item over here? Nope, nothing. That's surprising. you think there would be. Sometimes a dead end is just that. A dead end. If I recall correctly, there's something else. No, I was mistaken. Never mind. I might be thinking of the remakes, where there's the house where all the, the BK siblings live. Nope, it's still here. And it tells you where each of them are. In fact, I believe today is a Tuesday. I should go back to Route 29 real quick. This, I think, is uh, Tuscany. Tuscany of Snowflakes. Okay. And she gives me a Silk Scarf, which boosts normal type attacks. Okay, now we're back up here. Now this train, this house here actually has some, a woman who will heal your Pokemon, which is useful because this is quite a long route. Smart ass. Well, believe it. That's useful because it means I want to waste my item. Is there anything over here? No, I don't think there is. Nope. Down you go. And this lady apparently had a run in with silver. That's a mix max elixir, so let's go back and heal one more time. Okay, so now we move on to Victory Road. Now in the original in the original there were no trainers in here. Which uh the implication I think is that silver beat them all, but the uh the Doyleist perspective on that would be that, well, it's just because that the devs ran out of time to populate with trainers. It's also why Victory Road is so much smaller. I believe the remakes don't have it either. I can't quite remember. 
but here there are some trainers. Including some... There's one in particular that's kind of amusing to me. We'll see when, when we get to him. This guy, right here. Kill Beast. What a fucking tryhard. Okay, you know what? Fine. I think his Pokemon are even Eevee trained. You think you're so clever, huh? Alright, now it's time to just wreck your face. You mad, bro? Yeah, you should have, fucking tryhard. I know, I'm one to talk, but... Seriously, that guy it was... His name was fucking Killbeast! What can I do? There's a point where it just gets ridiculous, you know? Well, I hope you're not done yet. Because I still need to beat you up for money. Alright, let's swap then. Yeah, you should. Maybe one day you might knock out one of my Pokémon. Who knows? Don't bet on it, you actually don't have a Versus Deep Third Liquid Crystal, so I don't think I can rematch him. At least not without using a, a code. There is a code that can force trainers to rebattle you, I just... Well, no point in using it. Ouch! You actually knocked one of my Pokémon out! Hmm. Let's, uh... Can he go? Can he go? Now let's go and get some of the items that I should still be able to get. Up here, there's a full restore. There's another item too. We have to go over there. Instead of towards the exit, we can drop down here. And there is the TM for Earthquake. Which I think I can teach to Gramble. Let's go back up the ladder real quick. Because we have one more battle ahead of us. Those of you who have played the remakes, or well, actually the originals as well, know exactly what's coming. Okay, prove it. Oh, I should not have tempted fate like that. Okay, fine. That's what I get for being a smartass. I, I'll i take that L. No, fuck off. But of course, if you think I'm just gonna let you knock my Pokemon out, you're mistaken. You charm, bitch. Nope. 
Alright, now we'll swap back into Morgan. Down you go. Uh, yeah. Don't think that epiphany is going to stick. And now we finally arrive. Indigo Plateau, which has been remodeled a bit since Gen 1. So let's just quickly get these back into my party. And I think it's going to wrap it up for this time, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to do some more prep work off screen, but we're taking on the Elite Four next time. If you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, check out my Rumble page, and I will catch you all next time.